Hey everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor. We got a new shave of the day. And today we're going to be doing Varen from Sterling. Sterling Soaps, Varen. Now, when I smell this, just smelling this right here smells like Avon Wild Country. Or close to it. Not quite like Avon Wild Country. You smell this here. And there's more of a citrus citrus and cedar forward with the the wild country but with the varin you do have that powdery uh it's a fougere type scent with it there's more of an i say oaky more of an more of oak uh wood scent versus a cedar scent that's i think the, one of the bigger differences now when i lathered it up it has more of a more of a smoky woody scent kind of like a i'm getting more of a wood and it's like if you have uh oak wood burning in the, the fireplace or furnace that's kind of the scent i'm getting off of it now now that it's lathered up so hey it is what it is now, we're we'll also be doing the Gillette Black Beauty 1986 with some Gillette blades. This is the second use of this one. And let's just make sure this is on setting three. No, it's on setting four. Now it's on setting three. Make sure I get that right. All right, so put some moisture on the face. All right, let's go. Hope everybody's uh, week is going great. Been uh, busy this week. Got some projects going on. Assorted stuff. Now that I got this lathered up on my face. Hmm. Definitely getting a. It's got that fern, oaky, smoky smell coming out of it now. And this. Oh, I forgot to mention. This brush is, used to belong to my grandfather. So. Don't get it used very often. I kind of like. Those are kind of like antiques to me. So. All right, let's go down. Blades working good. Feel it doing its job. And I do have a a large selection of. Uh, um, brushes I've inherited from my grandparents, both both sides, which is interesting. Like nobody else in the family was ever it's like even remotely interested in shaving like I do. So. Like one of those deals where all you had to do is like, does anybody want that? Well, why would we want that? I'll take it. It's like a piece of personal history, you know? And then you got something that your grandfather held every day or every other day, however often they shave. Oh, my one grandfather on my mom's side. He is shaved about every two, three days. He was... Would rather take the time and... 
go out and do some work or go fishing and um, take the time and shave. <clears throat> One of those deals where you did what you wanted to do. It's like later in life, my one grandfather on my mom's side, he would, he was a fishing guide in Minnesota. Have you ever heard of like Babe Winkleman and those guys that are famous had their fishing shows. Well, he was one of those guys that was showing them around when they were first getting into sh their stuff. But I remember these guys coming around fishing with them when I was a wee lad. And that's like one of the guys uh, had his own uh, show on the TV and would be, it's like, hey, I know these guys. That was something I always did when I was a kid, I was always fishing. Get out in the lake, run whenever possible. And we'd go out and my grandparents lived around Brainerd, Minnesota, north of Brainerd. On this little uh, Lake Edwards. Fairly large lake. In the summertime. My, uh, we would go, my brother, older brother and I would always go and spend the summer with them. It's like, it would be two weeks with them, a week home, and there two weeks with them. And would fill the, uh, we'd have these. Uh, giant coolers like you see nowadays and we'd have them filled with uh, fish so it'd be fill it up it was like ate a lot of fish when I was a kid because we that's all we ever did was we also had our own lake, a uh, small lake that, you know, the only access to it was off our, off our farm property. So we had our own boat on it, go fish whenever I wanted to. So get your chores done. Go fishing with a date. We rack some northerns and walleyes and panfish. Bluegills and sunfish. Occasionally big perch too. When they would come in. <clears throat>
Yeah, there was one time I, that was my dad. He decided to take the day off and, and doing farm work and we uh um we're out there fishing and I hooked into this big old northern. That thing was huge. It was literally pulling, I was like, felt like I was deep sea fishing with the, uh, you know, pulls all bent over and the boat was literally being yanked around because it was pulling me around. And don't let her go, keep the pressure on. And we got that thing up to the side of the boat and my dad was like, oh no. This thing's bigger than we're it's like it was bigger than the the net. We had a big net. If we took a fifty pound feed sack that we'd uh made a you know, took a, a regular net out of and uh replaced a regular net with it. So it was big and long because I was you know you always Catching these big northerns. This thing was monstrous. They're like, and you reach down and try to keep the pressure on. Got in there. Hmm. And uh, got it in the boat. And we had a scale in there, and that thing was monstrous. It was 36 pounds, which is fairly large for a northern. And well, hmm, that hurt. The hell. Snagged itself. <clears throat> But then it was catch and release type of deal. Well, I think that's the last time I'm using that re uh, blade. Started getting a little snaggy. Its life expectancy is over. Yeah, I felt it just grab. It's like two twice it grabbed and tugged and snagged me. Wasn't too pleasant. Ouch. burning going on here all right where there it is that smells good Good old Avon Wild Country. There you go. Avon Wild Country. Like to smell this. If I could find somebody that would make a soap 
that smelled just like that, I'd probably be using that. That and uh, like the Sterling Spice a lot. But this shave was brought to you by Sterling Varen. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be like a Dutch uh, Fougere. The only thing I'm, uh, it does definitely have that oaky, uh, smoky oaky, and the smoky oakies, I'll say that 10 times that, uh, scent with it, where it comes out when it's lathered up, put some moisture on it, and you get that, that scent comes out. Starts off really good. I like this when it's uh, by itself without being lathered up. Now, if we had just gotten that scent profile coming out after it lathered, that'd be even better. But, yeah, you get to what you get. All right, so that's everything uh, for the shave day. Not too happy with all the blood that's coming out here. But we'll uh, move on and see you in the next one. Rusty out.